It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all you need. Looking for a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Deezer, Stitcher, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also, the follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a wonderful gentleman, who uh, grew up in Atlanta, now living in Los Angeles. He's heading up a group which has really, really been making it big in Los Angeles, just getting a lot of attention and airplay. And they have an album which they released in 2012 with great um, fanfare, American Refugee, and they've got a new EP out. We'll um, talk about that and a couple of singles which... um, Got all the hits on um, all the streaming media. We'll play one of the uh, new songs from the new EP coming up. I mean, just an amazing story. This group is going to really blow you away in the future. And just getting a lot of um, American um, FM uh, radio airplay in American Southeast and a lot more. They recently signed with Spectrum Music Group. And live, ladies and gentlemen, live from beautiful, sunny L.A., Gene Owens, a faithless town. Gene, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Good afternoon, Mike. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing great, doing great. So you're with the group Faithless Town. You uh, got started in Atlanta, and you're now based in Los Angeles, and you have um, an an amazing EP debut called American Refugee, which came out in 2012. You have a brand new EP called Empires as well, too, and a couple of songs which gotten some airplay from the debut one, Ghost of My Hometown, City of Ghosts. We'll be playing one of your EPs, your singles from the new EP coming up, and you just have an amazing story. And first of all, before getting into all that, tell us how you got started. Oh, okay. Uh, how I got started in music. I, I, you know, I actually started as a, uh, a solo artist, and I put out a couple albums under just my name. Gene Owens, uh, and I, I actually grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so that, that's kind of where it started, and then I, I came out to Los Angeles, uh, I went to a music school out here, and then uh, by kind of uh, just a odd circumstance and chance, I ended up in Atlanta, and in Atlanta is where I put together the band Faithless Town, um, which is still going now to this day and uh you know we're happy to announce yeah we just put out our new album empires on uh, february 21st out on spectra records and that's actually that's a lp it's a full length we got 11 tracks on that one. Oh, you got it nice very nice okay and also you can continue telling us about um how you got started and of course you know you, you starting uh career wise in music and me starting off what in uh, career wise in music, it's like how you got started. You know your roots in Pittsburgh, then going to Atlanta. Like basically your musical journey. Yeah, so grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I, you know definitely I think growing up in Pittsburgh and that blue collar. Uh, I mean, it, Pittsburgh's changed a lot, but when I was growing up there, you know, there's still all the remnants uh, of the steel industry there, and it was still a very blue collar um, city that uh and i i think you know the nature of that shaped and influenced some of my music uh also i think growing up there gave me an appreciation and a love of bruce springsteen um who's a big inspiration and influence uh on a lot of my work um so 
Went from Pittsburgh out to L.A. when I was very young, uh, like right out of high school. Went to a music school in Los Angeles. Started recording, writing and recording my first album, which was entitled Beautifully Strange. Uh, shortly thereafter, that, that album got in the hands of Mel Brooks' son, Ed Brooks, who was a music manager. Oh, wow. Yeah, which was very cool. Uh he, he kind of looked like Mel, but he still had some hair. Uh, very <laughs> merchandising, funny guy. merchandising. Get some merchandising. Get this <laughs> merchandising here. Exactly, exactly. So uh, Ed loved uh, loved my songwriting. He loved the music on that on that first disc, and so he managed me for a couple of years. I put out another album while I was out in L.A., um, and then just by uh, you know, I kind of went through it the equivalent of a divorce it was a very difficult breakup and I, I needed to leave Los Angeles and I just needed a, a change of venue. So I packed up my car with whatever would fit in it. And I put my dog in the passenger seat and I just made my, my way East. And I, I didn't know exactly where I was going, but I knew I wanted to leave LA and I stopped in Atlanta to visit a friend of mine that I had worked with, uh, and it was going to be just for a weekend stay. And that weekend trip ended up being uh, a decade in Atlanta. Wow. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, and during that time, I I, I, I met my bandmates who uh, I've formed Faithless Town with. And uh, we've you know now made two LPs and uh, one EP. Two EPs and two LPs, actually, at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh yeah they become like family to me and uh i'm actually getting married in a few months oh congratulations thank you thank you my my drummer and guitar player in that band uh will be my best man and one of my groomsmen nice very nice <laughs> that is just amazing and um you, you know just uh something that pop up how'd you come up with the name faithless town so our first record we had a song called Faithless Town, but at the time we were called the name of the band was the Easy Hearts, uh-huh. which I thought was a cool name. You know, it was like kind of reminiscent of like the Heartbreakers. Uh, and uh, but we it, it turned out there was a band in Denmark or somewhere in the Netherlands that had uh, had that name already, and they already had a website. So um, we were like, what what do we call the band? Yeah, uh, and so Faithless Town, it was it was like the the first track on this album we were making, and it just it kind of became like uh, it became the name of the band. So it was like Bad Company, where we had the song name and the band name. Uh huh. That that was just a fantastic story, and of course, besides Bruce Springsteen being one of your influences, who are some of your favorite artists and um, other singers and musicians growing up? Growing up, you know, I have to say. That, the Doors were the first band that really turned me on to music that wasn't just the uh, the flavor of the week pop music when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Um, you know, before finding The Doors, it was all whatever, you know, it was probably MC Hammer and Vanilla Ice, not to date myself, but it was like that caliber of music and pop music um, that I heard. And never really, nothing really grabbed me, but until I heard The Doors... Somebody gave me a copy of their first album, um, and it was just the weirdest, most unique thing I'd ever heard. And it just, uh, it set me, I think hearing that record set me on the musical path that I'm still on. Wow. And of course, uh, Jim Morrison, to this day, we don't know if it's true on the internet, still runs a donut shop as an assistant manager somewhere in Michigan. So... <laughs> I, I, I thought he was in Africa, but yeah, who knows? Yeah, he's probably there. He's there, you know, he's pr- probably Tupac works the shift. Kurt Cobain comes by <laughs> once in a while. And of course, Elvis is, you know, one of their regulars. Yeah, and of course, at one point he was an assistant manager for a donut shop. You know, probably with uh, peanut butter and banana, you know, of all things. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> Deep fried, yeah. There you go, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and play a couple of um, their works as well, too. You listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all he needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Deezer, Stitcher, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with Gene Owens from Faithless Town. He was um, born and raised in Pittsburgh, headed down to Atlanta, now in Los Angeles with his group Faithless Town, and he's got a new LPL called Empires. But first, we're going to play one of his um, debut releases from American Refugee in 2012. Here's one of his first, Ghosts of My Hometown, right here on the Mike Wagner Show with Faithless Town.
Close to my hometown from Faithless Town with Gene Owens here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, tell us a little bit more about that song and uh, what inspired you to write it. Uh, I would say Ghost to My Hometown is, is probably one of my proudest moments as a songwriter just because it is uh, it, it's very uh, it's a very personal uh, just honest kind of retelling of of the imagery and the, the things that really shaped me um, growing up in Pittsburgh and conceptually I, I think it's about uh, the concept that you can move you can all you can leave the place that you were born, um, and you can be miles and miles away from like your first loves and your first friends uh, from adolescence, um, and th- those th- all those memories that shaped you to become the person that you are. Um, you can leave the, the the distance can be between you, but th- those things never leave you. You know they're always within you or inside you or. or and maybe sometimes the the positive things and the negative things are kind of haunting you. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it, th- that's the concept of it. And yeah, I think, you know, my, my dad actually did work in the steel mills of Pittsburgh. So there's like, there's uh, the lyrics allude to that and uh, or just say that outright. And I think it's a very confessional song. Hmm. That is amazing, too. And, of course, watching the video, of course, driving a Cadillac and um, whatever else, just maybe think of the um, the old uh, videos, movies, where you have, like, a huge caddy from the 80s that's driving us. Just um, kind of just, just kind of hits home and away in a blue-collar town. Yeah, you know, the Cadillac, I was not even expecting. I so We <laughs> shot the band, we shot our performance in Atlanta at this place called the Goat Farm, which is an actual urban goat farm. Farms. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, they uh, they do everything there. I think they they shot like uh, a bulk of the Hunger Games trilogy at the Goat Farm. Um, but there's like it's an art gallery, and there's like there's a coffee shop there. But there and then there's people raising goats and making goat milk. Uh, so we shot our stuff in this one of these old like abandoned buildings at the Goat Farm, and then I went up to Pittsburgh and I found this videographer. Um, Mike Cronenberg, who to shoot like a bunch of B-roll of the city to kind of you know capture the vibe of, of Pittsburgh and get like you know the the point where the three rivers meet, which I reference in the first line, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the Ohio, Monongahela, and Allegheny, uh, and so Mike, that was his personal car. So he ended up shooting a bunch of other stuff after I flew back to Atlanta. And when he sent me the edit of the video, I wasn't expecting the, the caddy at all. And then when I saw it, I was like, this is perfect. It's amazing. <laughs> it makes you want to drive one, I'll tell you that, especially from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's a good, beautiful car. It's great. Oh, it's wonderful. I have to say that. Also, another um, single out called City of Ghosts. And uh, tell us all about that one. So, City of Ghosts, uh, we, man, it's like I write a lot of songs with ghosts in the title, huh? Oh, really? Yeah. I, <laughs> I was kind of interested, uh, what's with the ghost theme? But let's uh, talk about the uh, song first, then let's talk about uh, your thing with ghosts. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. So, City of Ghosts, I, I put out uh, a couple years ago, and it was, uh, you know, it was a time where we're still kind of in this time and I don't want to get too political, but it's just, there was, there was just a lot of fervor about, um, what it means to be American or not American. And I saw certain people just, it it seemed like their stories were kind of being marginalized. Um, and everyone was like taking a stance, but I, I, I thought nothing had really w- was making it personal. And I, I read this article in the LA Weekly, which is our like free publication out here in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was an article about a, a gentleman who had been brought to America from Mexico when he was very young, like you know he was like two or three, so he had no say in the matter. And he, uh, his parents brought him here illegally, and he spent his whole life here undocumented um, and built this whole life. You know, here he is in his 30s, he has a daughter, he has a wife, and he goes to show up for work one day, and he, uh, he ends up getting deported. Wow. Uh, the, 
the uh, you know immigration is there waiting for him. Um, and regardless of what your your view, anyone's views on that stuff is, and I don't really want to get into that, but I just I, I you know I thought the story was heartbreaking because it was this guy was ripped from everything that he knew, and what has been his home and his family. Um, like he he had more of a connection to America than to Mexico, which was his illegal you know whatever birth home mm-hmm. uh, or nation of origin. Uh, he had a mo- much more connection to uh, America, and then he finds himself just like on the other side of the wall, and uh, just kind of kind of in this city where Tijuana became a place where a lot of people that were being immig- uh, being deported just end up, and it's kind of like this limbo where they are not really sure if they can get back to the states. They're, they don't really have any family or close family in Mexico, so they are all just kind of here in this like ooh, this weird limboous state in this border town. Uh, and I just found that story really interesting, so I, I try to do it justice by by writing that song. It, it, it sounds like an all too familiar tale, you know, being a stranger in a strange land or a stranger in your hometown. You hear a lot about that, and of course, you know, you're right. We're not going to get into it, and of course, we'll talk about your new EP, or your new LP, Empires, with your song. Um, California come home, but first listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the Mike Show.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all he needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with Gene Owens from Faithless Town. He was born and raised in Pittsburgh, moved to Atlanta, and now in Los Angeles. He's got a new LP called Empires, which will be coming out uh, through Spectre Records uh, to be released very soon. Right now, here's one of his singles out called California Come Home. Right here, Faithless Town with Gene Owens on the Mike Wagner Show.
California Come Home from Faithless Town with Gene Owens here on the Mike Wagner Show. And tell us more about that song as well, too. And uh, yeah, I guess again, that California Dream as well, too. Tell us more about that song. What influenced you to write it? What, you know, I uh, I love California. And that's that's what brought me, you know, my love of it is what's brought me back to, to L.A. Um, after being gone for a while. Um, I mean, you know, there's the beautiful weather, there's this amazing history of, of music and entertainment, right? There's so much to love about it. Um, and, uh, you know, and also I, I love that, like, the... I think it's inspired somewhat by the kind of sixties and seventies, like Laurel Canyon sounds the, uh, you know, the Jackson Brown and, and birds and, uh, that kind of, that kind of vibe, like the echoes in the Canyon vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, you know, I think that's a big part of it. Uh, how I wrote it. I think I actually was in a bookstore and there some song was playing. I don't know what it was. And I kept hearing the lyrics of what became the chorus, but they weren't the lyrics. It's like, you know, sometimes you mishear something. Uh, like you mishear a lyric and you think they're the person's singing different words than they actually are. But I, I kind of kept hearing. I thought he was saying, uh, you know, the crossings of the road and some of these words that weren't actually in that song that I was hearing. But somehow I, I, that's how I was interpreting it. And I went home and started working on putting the lyrics that I misheard to music and uh, it, it slowly became that, that song California come home. Uh, and then I, I ended up shooting a music video with uh, my beautiful fiance, uh, which kind of plays as like a little love letter to her and to uh, like a snapshot of us together in California, um, which is up on YouTube and uh, you know, on the interwebs. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. I mean, just a great song out there that's off the new LP Empires. And um, it was released February 21st on Spectre Records as well, too. And, of course, you know, speaking of 2020, what are some of your other plans coming up for uh, later in 2020? Well, Mike, we, um, we're we playing a homecoming show on March 28th, so later this month, at uh, one of my favorite venues, The Earl in East Atlanta. So I'm super stoked about that. Uh, we're going to be playing with uh, a band called Please Please and another band called The Stoplight Roses, and uh, that proves to be a really, really fun show. So that's next up on the horizon. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, do you have any other plans for an uh, upcoming tour in 2020 besides your homecoming? We hope so. Yeah, we're we're working that out right now uh, with the label, and uh, we're hoping we're hoping to at least do uh, you know a, a a brief short tour, if not something more extensive, uh, later later this year. Where hopefully we'll get to hit up uh, a lot of the country. That's the plan, and um, you know, get out and play this record that we're we're really proud of. And um, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into this one. That is amazing. We're here with Gene Owens from Faithless Town here on the Mike Wagner Show. Just a couple more things right here. You've been fantastic. Look forward to having you again soon. Who do you consider your biggest influence in your career, Gene? Uh, biggest influence in my career? It, it, it's uh, probably... You know, I, I don't know. I, I, I've just like I, I like rebels and people that just kind of strike out their own path, uh, whether in, in any art medium, people that don't wait for things to happen to them. They go out and make things happen for them. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, there, there's examples of that in almost every medium. But, uh, you know, whether it's Kevin Smith making clerks by by, you know, maxing out his credit cards and taking out a loan um, and then, you know, becoming a uh, popular filmmaker by, but first just having faith in his own vision and going out and doing it. Um, so, you know, Ani DeFranco, they're all countless kind of indie musicians that have done that. And you know, Faith was down. Th- this is our first label release uh, with empires that came out a couple weeks ago. Um, but before that, like I said, we we already put out uh, two EPs and another LP, and we've done that all uh, do it, you know, DIY. So 
That sounds fantastic. Looking forward to all that. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Best advice I can give to anybody is just uh, keep stay positive and uh, keep your eye on the prize. Keep working towards your goals and uh, don't let anybody tell you you know you, you can't do it. Just follow your follow your heart, follow your conviction. Mm -hmm. And that's the best advice you can give as well, too. Once again, Gene Owens from Faithless Town here on the Mike Wagner Show. Gene, just want to give a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. And before we go, tell us about your upcoming projects, your website, how do people contact you, and where can people purchase or listen to your music? Thanks, Mike. Well, it has been a pleasure. And uh, like I said, our next show is going to be on the 28th of this month. That's March 28th at the Earl in uh, Atlanta um, so tickets for that are available now through the if you just go look up the Earl's website uh, our website is faithlesstown.com our Instagram and Twitter handles are just at faithlesstown so at faithlesstown and uh, you can purchase our CD everywhere that uh, fine music is sold online whether that's amazon or itunes um and then you can stream it everywhere so uh google play spotify apple music i personally i like apple music i think if you're going to stream i think it sounds better but you know teach their own it, it's out there. It's everywhere. That sounds very like a plan, too. Gene, just want to say a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Look forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. We'd love to have you back on sometime in 2020. And keep us up to date. We'd love to have you back on. I'd love to come back, Mike. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 